So Canby85 made a response to my last video, and it seems as though there's still something that I need to clarify, because he still doesn't seem to be getting how the idea that the brain can control the mind is a problem for the idea of free will. For example, he says this. You, in, your, in one of your own posts, brought up a very good analogy about how um, someone said that this situation is kind of like if you were looking at someone driving a car from outside the car. If, you know, if something was going wrong with the car, it would be hard to tell whether it was something going wrong with the car or whether it was something wrong with the driver and what they were doing in the car, how they were steering it. If you're looking at a car from the outside, watching it drive by, it's going to be, uh, for all intents and purposes, impossible to tell. Is there something wrong with the steering column or are they just steering it crazily? Now, from that driver's standpoint, they will be able to tell. Yeah, but see, that's the problem. The reason why that analogy doesn't work is because when it comes to the relationship between the brain and the mind, the driver, the mind, cannot tell. If something changes in the brain and it changes a person's behavior to the driver, to the mind, everything that they're doing is going to seem just as voluntary as anything else they've ever done. That's why that analogy is not a good one. That's why that analogy is shit. And I brought this up to you in a text comment and you seem to concede the point. So here's the problem. If, as you agree, the brain can control the mind, and if, as you seem to agree, the brain can control the mind in a way that gives the illusion that the mind is still making free choices, then how can you know that any choice you have ever made is not the product of that same illusion. How can you know that any of your choices are free? The fact is, you can't know. There is no way to really know that. If there's no way to know that, then there's absolutely no basis on which to assert that free will exists at all. And this is an especially big problem for you because you have a whole series of videos on how we can know the supernatural is real, and the argument that you make in those videos seems to all hinge on your assertion that we can know the supernatural is real because we know we make free choices. But we don't know that we make free choices. We can't know that. If, as you agree, the brain can control the mind, and if, as you agree, the brain can give you the illusion that you're making free choices when you're really not, then if we really do make free choices, then how can we differentiate from the choices that are really free and the choices that the brain is just giving us the illusion of being free?